push on you. Recording in progress. All right, we're joined by Dr. FC head coach Juan Carlos Amoros. What a special day today, a win at home, a win record. Uh, just tell us about some of your thoughts. Uh, yeah, well, obviously, congratulate Lynn. I think she she deserves the the record for her not only her work every day with us, but throughout her career is a moment of, of pride for all of us, especially uh, for her. So especially especially happy for her in that aspect. And then I think the game is kind of our life here. No, like we are a team that wants to do certain things today. The players were outstanding. They executed the game plan. They believe from start to finish. And and we also know that we have to be resilient and. In a game that we were dominating, finally we take the lead. Fantastic, by the way. It seems that we have to score with these uh, amazing goals. And unfortunately, on a set piece, a central free kick, a second ball, and bang with your 1 1. And that's the moment where you need to show character and personality and believe in what you're doing. And that's what the players did. That's why they kept pushing. That's why they play for the, to get the corner is how it is. And, and then execute things like set pieces that can make the difference. So, congratulations to Ella She's doing amazing for us, she's growing, she's, she, you know, for her to, to come on and, and that was the plan, we were going to need her in, in that second half and I'm extremely happy that she was able to score that goal but there were so many things today to highlight if you go players by player, the, the, the back line, I think the, the job of, of Macy Bell and Mallory Swanson tonight was something remarkable for a rookie, second start, giving and Give, be given the responsibility to mark one of the best players, not only in the league but in the world, and did what she did. It was amazing. Back line, midfield dominated again. Players coming on from the bench. You know, I think it is credit to the whole roster. You know, credit to everyone that was on the pitch, but also the ones that weren't on the pitch. So I'm very, very happy for them. All right, we'll take questions from the first. Ready? Ready, Catherine, CBS Sports. Can you just speak a bit more about Lynn? Um, you obviously touched on. You know her whole career, her whole, her whole body of work in the NWSL, but obviously she came here last year with big expectations that she seems to have met them so far. I think she is over exceed the expectations. Uh, <clears throat> when you sign a player, you can talk about with other people. We always do. Now we try to get reports of every aspect, and, and you know what she's what she can do on the pitch, but then you don't know certain things until you work with people. No? Uh, She's over exceeding expectations on the pitch, of the pitch. I think he's the best, I would say, he's the best offensive, you know, the best defensive forward in the planet. Like, I think in, even, you know, at the beginning of the game, she, she came back and helped and, and beat, you know, Mallory Swanson. I think she beat someone, she was dead. You know, her commitment to make sure the team wins, even the last kick of the game, I think it's her kicking off of the box, no? And then she adds that, that commitment, that passion, and that quality to, to be scoring goals in key moments for us, uh, for the US, for every team she's played. You know, she's, she's wearing the armband, and, and you know, like uh, having people like her in this club is, 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 is what we want. And, and you know, coming in last year, it was obviously a bit of a gamble because at the end of the day, it was a player that after not playing for a year, you never know, muscle injuries, you know, it was, how was she gonna react? And I think from the first official game that she played in, in Angel City, she's been, she's been covering this team with her teammates, at times some teammates, at times some others, but she's always giving her best. And, you know, I remember her playing with a broken arm, I remember her scoring massive goals for us, the last four games she's scored, I think, three goals, amazing, you know, and really, really proud to, for her to be one of our captains and for her to be, you know, beating that record. Stacey. Hi, Coach Juan. How are you? Yeah, good. Thank you. Congratulations, by the way. Last couple of matches, you guys have been able to pick up momentum. How were you able to continue that in today's match? And what were some of the things that you had seen that you were the most proud of? Well, I think the last couple of matches, <clears throat> uh, I will say that a bit more than that. No? I think. Uh, for me, I keep saying it, I think despite all the difficulties we have with availability, I would say that for me the only game that wasn't up to the standard it was Washington. I think the rest of the games the team has performed quite good. Uh, even you know, if we go back, I think now it's, uh, I don't know, four, well, this is five games now, the Louisville game here where we conceded super late and the team again saw the resilience and, and it was a game that definitely could have won. Then we beat North Carolina, we beat Houston away, super difficult place. Then San Diego, great performance today. You know, I think the players are doing an amazing job, you know. I think I'm super proud of them because 
you know, today was the first day that Rosla Bell could start a game, and, and, and now players are stepping up like Ella Stevens, Crystal came and affected the game, Jasmine, the line, you know, like everyone that is wearing the Gotham shirt is doing it with pride and following a game plan, for following a style, and I think that's that's key for me, and I think that's what's showing, I think, we have the best team defending in the league in terms of uh, conceding goals, I think five games away was the last time we conceded in open play, we conceded two goals now set pieces. We know we need to be better in front of goal. Uh, we're not scoring enough for what we're creating, I don't think. But uh, the playing style that the players are executing is, is fantastic, so very, very proud. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, well. uh, No, uh, yeah, very good question because obviously we conceded last last game and, and we conceded on this game. Uh, when you look at the stats, uh, and I told the players this, uh, we are obviously after today maybe changed, but we were the best team in this league in expected goals from set pieces. We only conceded 0 0.07 uh, expected goals per set piece. I think last week was very unfortunate. Was, Play, you know, it was little details, uh, and today was obviously a rebound on the tail. But I think the players are doing a very good job. It's tough when I say this, and we consider one goal, two goals in a row. But at the same time, I trust them. I believe in what they're doing. That's why we have those stats. And I think set pieces are sometimes, you know, like very fine details. But I really, I really think it's it's not a problem. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, well, at the moment we are making sure that we, we go day to day. We are making sure that we protect our players as much as we can. That's why, and, and you know, we have a high performance team, medical team that works day in, day out, and we always support it uh, uh, to make sure that the players are as fit as possible, but not only in the short term, uh, but also in the long term. No? Like, that's why you still see things like Rose coming off at certain times. and. You know, a lot today that there was a little bit of a worry, so we wanted to make sure that nothing gets worse. And I think it's making sure we individualize the attention with the loadings, with the work they do, and, and prepare them for the, the everyday, prepare them for the next game. But also looking at, we put a lot of emphasis on injury prevention, which uh, you know, you know, to, not not to not to solve the problem, if not to stop the problem from happening. That is the key, you know. So that's what we are putting a lot of effort. Uh, and yeah, I think you can see sometimes with with the subs I do or the the, 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 the lineups how uh, we actually take care of the players in that aspect. Yeah, welcome. All right. Any questions from those online? Thank you, thank you guys for covering the game. Have a good evening, yeah? Recording.